All right. Hello, citizens of the Nigerverse. It's not you once again. And uh, right off the bat, uh, happy Easter or to everyone if you celebrate, behave it, of course. First, and I uh, hope you uh, spend time with your family today and hope you have a uh, relaxing Easter or uh, Sunday. Uh, but uh, the, the thing I want to talk about today is a question that's been a, on a lot of people's minds as of late, especially in the wake of what happened last Monday on Raw. Uh, and that being, is the PG era over or in WWE? Is the PG era over in WWE? Uh, are we seeing the end of the PG era? Uh, 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 me personally, I feel like, hey, and that's such an interesting question to answer, mostly because um, as the PG era has been something that's been around for a little bit, but also because I feel like a WWE over the years has been slowly moving away from the PG era, if that makes any sense. So, oh, uh, oh the PG era, uh, it, uh, it started in 2008, of course, when WWE became uh, TV PG. He, uh, this was after WWE went HD. So, in 2008, WWE he, uh, introduced the high HD graphics, which on one hand do look nice and very clean and definitely ups the production value. But on the other hand, and while the older WWE uh, it looks super grainy and stuff like that. No, not necessarily uh, the 2000s. I'm, I'm talking more like the 90s and stuff like that. The 2000s had a, a, like a touch of it. But even though it had more of that, it had something about it. It uh, had a little bit of charm um, to it. I, I can't describe what it was. But something about it had a nice uh, little bit of charm and uh, and had that uh, raw wrestling feel to it. But uh, nevertheless, uh, WWE went TV PG in 2008. And... Uh, it wasn't really received well. Uh, uh, the PG era, oh, I feel like it wasn't really received well. And I think a lot of that does come down to... Me, personally, I say they, they, it's not that they went PG. Like, if they went PG, that's one thing. And, but it's the fact that it seemed like the quality of storyline and, and what the wrestlers were allowed to say went down. Especially coming off of both the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era, now in this PG Era. The thing is, I maintain that uh, there are plenty of things made for kids, made for a younger demographic, that are really awesome, really great. Uh, but then there are things that are made more for adults that kind of suck. Uh, so I think it's less about it being PG and more about the quality of storylines, because the quality of storylines took a huge nosedive. Like, a... Um, like hey, I say, whether it's PG or not, whether they throw a thousand curse words or or none at all, oh, as long as the <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, I say as long as the TV is compelling, as long as the storylines are compelling, as long as it's interesting to watch people will watch and that was the problem it wasn't interesting to watch so people stopped watching and uh ratings did people weren't really into wrestling anymore a lot of people said wrestling fell off and, and i think uh i think that was part hard to blame of that but uh well first of all hopefully my camera comes back into focus uh, uh I know this, this always does the trick, but and, uh, anyway, nevertheless, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, and uh, the thing, uh, thing, the reason I say that WWE has kind of been moving away from the PG era, though, is that is that um, they kind of moved into what they kind of like to call the reality era, where here, things kind of uh, were, in, were still in kayfabe. But in more of like that realistic sense, uh, that that was the era of uh, things like the Authority, or or like um, or like when NXT was getting its rebirth, and then uh, we kind of moved into a bit of a new era uh, where a lot of NXT stars called up to the main roster and you know did their thing as well. Oh, and and there like hey, the content wasn't necessarily like super edgy and super mature for her uh, adults, but wasn't always necessarily targeted just at kids like like the kids still part of it and it does make sense you know oh oh it's it's definitely a business kind of thing where here when you 
when you appeal to the kids, when you appeal to the younger generation, they're going to go to their parents and have you buy their product. Like, uh, because the kids, they see uh, what's on the television. The parents let the kids watch, and then the kids want to buy the merch. They want to buy the video game. They want to buy the, uh, uh, they want to buy the action figures, which, it's, W2K24, even though I don't have the game, W2K24, or, you guys are hilarious for the Where's the Referee, uh, he, um, <clears throat> For the where's the refer for the where's that referee trophy yeah so oh there is and, and this cap kind of, this is a bit of a small tangent i promise i'll be quick with it but uh there is a trophy you can unlock in w2k24 slash achievement at least i saw it in playstation called where's that referee and i'm guessing it's if you screw somebody in the special referee match at uh at, uh at, and it's a hilarious reference to the story that cody rhodes told told about the referee accidentally screwing uh t- uh, Ted DiBiase's team, he, uh, he meant Ted DiBiase being a bit upset about it, saying, where's that referee, and I can't necessarily finish the rest, but I, I definitely go check out that uh, story, uh, yeah, it's uh, one, probably one of my favorite wrestling stories ever, but anyway, so, oh, going, but anyway, so, oh, uh, getting back on track, uh, heck, appealing to kids does make sense from that point of view, who, uh, who I think the only people who kind of have a problem with it were some of the older demographic where stuff wasn't really appealing to them anymore or that and other uh, people who and the people who didn't like the new storylines the new direction they were going and uh because the storylines weren't as good or weren't played out as good like there was some that had a lot of potential but didn't really pan out and uh the pg era i feel like and, and i might make a separate video on this at some point but the pg era had quite a bit of potential but but uh, but with W slowly inching away hey, from um, um, at least he's like the thing still being for the most part TV PG, but also kind of um, but al- also kind of slowly incorporating some of the more adult language into the things. We're not fully going full on like Edge era, ruthless aggression era, but but uh, kind of sneaking in every now and then, and uh, such as when Vince McMahon's and said he was going to give Shane an effing beating, <laughs> and, and the people afterwards chanting, that's not PG, so, oh, don't be kind of inching away from it, but now it seems like, <clears throat> but but now it seems like nowadays, the curtains are off, uh, uh, and that WB might hey, be moving even further away from the PG era, uh, uh, because uh, The Rock has been saying what he says, which, it, to be fair, The Rock, uh, and I know... Uh, I'll, I'll address it after I say this, but The Rock kind of does whatever he wants anyway. Like, hey, uh, it's The Rock. Who, who are you to tell him no? Oh, this kind of thing. But I do kind of get Town's frustration. Like, hey, they have to be PG and stuff like that. They have to, you know, conduct themselves in a certain way, but The Rock gets to do whatever he wants. Like, I do, like, I do, um, like I, I can got, kind of get the frustration. I know some people are saying you know they're overreacting, they're upset about that, but it's less about that and more about the uh, some more about the perceived hypocrisy. Like a um, I kind of kind of that mentality of either all of it's okay or none of it's okay. Hey, but hey, but I can understand being a little bit frustrated. But The Rock kind of going not as PG, even though like I said, he kind of does what he wants. But then also, oh, uh, Cody Rhodes, oh, it's CM Punk, who's kind of also in that category. Uh, try, high censoring CM Punk. Uh, uh, good luck with that. At uh, at uh, CM Punk, Seth Rollins. And uh, Drew McIntyre kind of like the uh, the promo they had with each other, which it um I, I didn't see the promo, but man, I wish I did because a lot of people I, I might seek it out later on. But uh, with a lot of that more adult language and them kind of bringing back blood, which it uh when it comes to WWE and this kind of been the debate, why is it okay when WWE does it, not okay when AEW does it? Honestly, he me personally he uh he personally blood is blood is blood i'm not really like if you're squeamish if you don't really like a whole lot of blood i'm guessing you're probably not gonna be too much into it but that the thing with aw is i feel like like they kind of overdo it where almost every match has blood in it it uh especially when it comes to wrestlers like john moxley he like you you'd be our person to find a john moxley match without blood but uh, uh they do exist but but uh yeah so i think aw kind of overdoes it and and sometimes we'll overdo it with the adult stuff, and we'll just be kind of gross with it, like when Heyman drunk swerves blood. But, but uh, but with WWE, it's so rare that 
when it happens, it it's, it's a shock. It's like, whoa, they they got blood. Like like when Cody was bleeding after the Rock busted him open, which the Rock literally said, "I'm gonna make you bleed." You know, or like when Ilya Dragunov, although it's Ilya Dragunov, uh, he's probably gonna bleed. But but um, uh, yeah. So with stuff like that, and, and not really overdoing it. I know Triple H said he didn't really want a whole lot of like blood and stuff, uh, but. It still does happen anyway. Hey, but like, with all that stuff, is the PG era truly over? Or I think uh, I think it's safe to say probably like at least moving away. I don't expect them um like every week to throw like a thousand curse words or have like buckets and buckets of blood like like um like this Mortal Kombat or something. But but uh I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if they start to incorporate that a little bit more. Or especially now with the rock back into the fold, oh, especially now because they see that it's getting a kind of interesting reaction. People are interested in the product again, and this is this is definitely he. This is also why a lot of people say this is a renaissance era because a lot of people are interested in the product again. So, oh, uh, stuff like this is keeping people hooked. The story is interesting. It's not like hey, I think that's the other thing that AEW tends to do sometimes. And I'm not trying to turn this into a WWE versus AEW debate because I'm not that kind of person. Uh, nor is this that kind of channel but uh, with AEW a lot of times it does kind of feel like blood for the sake of blood but here the blood serves a purpose it shows oh, that the rock has truly gone unhinged uh, he's uh, gone a bit uh, he's gone a bit psycho oh uh oh but uh, uh, but but uh yeah so oh uh is the PGR over it might be but we'll see but in the meantime thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, if you did please do me a favor uh like comment subscribe share with your friends turn on post notifications so you know every time i upload videos you can see as soon as it drops and let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the discussion video and what we talked about and uh yeah so but thank you all so much for watching i will see you guys later peace